In this video, we're going to learn a super quick hack for regulating our system and bringing our parasympathetic nervous system online. Now, why do we want our parasympathetic nervous system present? In a moment of stress, we are upregulated into our sympathetic nervous system. I like to think of this as though we are sympathetic to threat. Our brain wants to make sure we stay alive. And yes, we know exactly who's in charge of that, our little friend Amy the amygdala. And we also know that there are many stressors in our day-to-day -day life that are not an actual threat to our survival. But because our hardware or our brain is very, very old and we do not have the software update for 20, well, 21st century living or pandemic living even, our system can struggle to downregulate itself in a moment of threat. And if we're upregulated and then another threat happens and we're upregulated again, we keep getting more and more stressed and therefore more activated or more vulnerable to future stressors. So having a quick hack that you can use in a moment of stressor activation to downregulate your system is a superpower. Jack Feldman, who's out of UCLA, is a phenomenal researcher, and he has been studying the biomechanics of breath. And he came up with or identified this unique opportunity to downregulate our system in, like I said, 40 seconds or less. What does this look like? Well, we all sigh. <sighs> we are predisposed to sigh to shift the oxygenation levels in our blood. And so if we harness the regular sighing activity that we do anyway with intention, we can more rapidly change the way our system is functioning, and even, imagine this, regulate our heart rate. So I'd like for you to imagine that you're going to sigh, but as you're taking in the breath for that initial sigh, you're going to sigh again on top of it. It's a double sigh breath. What this sounds like and looks like is a <sighs> And then you notice that long, slow, easy exhale. And if you've watched our guided meditations, you're probably used to that inhale for a count of four and that slow, easy release for a count of six. What we're doing here is inhaling and then inhaling again and then releasing. So let's practice that again. And let's do that again. And nose breathing has also some incredible benefits. I'll link some information in the content below for you. So practicing that double side breath, maybe doing it three or four times, will downregulate your nervous system. It actually will slow your heart rate quite a bit, 30 to 40 beats. And again, it takes about 40 seconds to have really incredible benefits. So as you navigate your resilient brain life, I highly recommend in a moment of distress or stress, or even a moment where you just go uh, squirrel and your attention flies somewhere else that you don't really want it to be. And you notice, uh oh, there's a yellow flag alert. <sighs> Welcome in that side breath. Nobody will be any of the wiser and your body and your brain will thank you for it. Um...